Hi, I'm William, and this is not Tyler, it's Joseph. Do you believe that Capote used in cold blood as an argument against the death penalty? We already know from the public broadcast firing line that Capote does not support capital punishment. This book may have been his way to express that. The closeness Capote creates between the reader and the criminals makes the reader more sympathetic towards the criminals and less inclined to see their deaths. While we see the hardships the detectives go through to find the criminals, the book never delves too deeply into their minds. It only shows the physical effects the mystery has on the officers, fatigue, verbal harassment, and a distanced family. In every one of these instances, Capote creates an external reason separate from the killers that causes these hardships, usually rebounding these difficulties to the lack of evidence, the impatient townspeople, or the determination of the officers. He rarely focuses on the actual murder scene's effect on Dewey and the detectives. This causes the reader to focus more on the murderers as opposed to the murders. We forget the challenges Bobby and Susan face as they battle the loss of an important person in their lives. We forget the wonderful clutters and how helpful and productive they were in the town. We forget the dread the town felt as they seemingly waited in their homes to be murdered. The separation of the criminals from the crime and the in-depth knowledge of the murderers' thoughts work together to cause the reader to almost hope that the criminals escape and live happily ever after. Beginning chapters have the most impact and seem to speak out against the death penalty the most. Everyone on death row is described as having some sort of mental or social disability, whether it be Andrew's inability to see the importance of others or Perry's childlike mentality. As the prisoners are about to be hanged, Dewey himself seems to feel sympathy towards Perry, inwardly thinking that the situation doesn't hold right with him. Dick and Perry's final words also seem to argue against the death penalty. Dick's words directly address the issue, whereas Perry's last words seem to be an emotional appeal to the reader. That way, I can focus on the camera again. She screws up a lot. Yeah. I mean, look, we all make mistakes. My parents made five. Okay. Other <laughs> 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 oh. like mm. Your legs? Do you guys want your legs in the video? No. But it doesn't feel like a big with Tyler. That's that's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, this is the first vlog you've recorded with Joseph. <laughs> <laughs>